All right, so I don't really know how to start this video, so I'm just gonna go into the story behind it. So I was driving on my way to work, Taylor Swift blasting, and I look out my window and I see this truck. It's got a for sale sign in it. No, not that one. Not that one either. Ah, here we go. This truck. I know what you're thinking. This, how could this be a classic? This is just a regular 03 Ford pickup. But in order for a car or a truck to become a classic, only 20 years needs to gone by. So with this being an 03, that means there's only one year left before this truck, yes, this, this F-150 stock is a classic vehicle. So I pulled over and I checked out the truck. Uh, I actually kind of liked it, you know, the beautiful blue Ford color. Um, looked all the way around the truck. I didn't really see anything wrong with it. No rust on the undercarriage. I called the number on the truck and an older gentleman named George answers. And I said, hey, George, can I check out the truck? And he's like, yeah, I sure can. Um, so we meet and I look at the truck. I'm going around again. I check all the, everything under the hood. Everything looks good besides the coolant. It, it looked disgusting. The coolant reservoir looked disgusting. But I'm like, you know what? You know, I can figure that out. I can, I can clean that up a little bit. So we hop in the truck, we get on the road and I immediately fall in love with this truck just from the way it sounded when it starts, the way it was driving, really smooth. The interior was super nice, super comfy. The only big downside was that when I turned the air on, there was really no cold air and really no warm air. Uh, and that's a typical problem in these trucks. But I'm like, you know what? I roll windows down all the time. AC is not gonna be a problem. We're in California, when do I need heat? When am I seriously gonna need heat? Wasn't a big issue for me. I watched the dash, no lights were coming on. The truck was not overheating. It was braking good, accelerating good. Overall, I was very impressed with how the truck drove. So we get back, I'm looking at everything, the electronics, the lights, everything is working perfectly, even the sunroof. Keep that in mind, the sunroof was working when I bought this truck. The only main issues I was concerned with was the top, there was a little bit of surface rust on the door and right by the sunroof. Um, I was also, you know, does the sunroof leak? It did, it did, it does really bad. Other than that, I didn't see any issues with the truck, um, but I wanted to sleep on it, so I went home that day. So I ended up texting George, hey, I like this truck, I want it, I can give you four grand for it, what do you say? And he's like, text back, yeah, I really don't wanna go under five. So I say, okay, I'll meet you in the middle, uh, 450. And again, he's like, I, I can't go under five, I'm sorry, I can't go under five. So I'm thinking, all right, I'll leave it. I don't need a truck that bad. If he's not gonna come down, I won't do it. Now I'm a young country kid. And basically what that means is desperate for a truck. And George knew that. George knew that one day a kid was just gonna come around and he was gonna spend the money. But I wasn't gonna go over 5,000. So I texted George back, I said, hey, I'll give you 48. There's rust on the roof. The sunroof looks uneven. I don't know if it leaks. You know, the truck is very old. There's a tear in the passenger seat, which didn't matter much, but the truck needs some work. I'll give you 48 and we can walk away, shake hands, won't ever bother you again. George texted me back, okay, fine, let's meet. And we met, I took the truck, signed title. I gave this guy $4,800 for this truck, $4,800. Two weeks later, the sunroof breaks, the transmission totally starts slipping, slipping bad too. Like there is no, going from second to third gear, There, there's nothing there. So I'm like, shoot, you know, what am I gonna do? I, I'm gonna have to put a new transmission in this thing. I already put 48 bucks in it, plus 26 big boys, and now I'm almost seven grand in the hole. Who who would who would do that? Who would who would buy that truck? But I did, you know, and I actually end up really liking it. I got the transmission fixed. The thing runs so nice. Even my dog likes it. in a year and a half, this thing is gonna be a classic. So, thumbs up to that.
But in the meantime, it is definitely going to need some work. Like I have a whole list of things that need, oh, no, not, not that list, not that list. I, here, here's the list. I have a whole list of things that need to get done. I know nothing about mechanics. So this is definitely going to be interesting, but I'm also very excited to create like a series out of this. Um, so hopefully you guys keep watching. Uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Let me know what I'm doing right. And I can also use this as a, just a future video to myself. Like, hey, you made the mistake. Don't do this again. Do not buy another truck like this again. I think that's going to finish it up. Maya. Truck ride? Truck ride? Come on. Come on.